Welcome back, Monsketeers, to another Radnorok commentary. Today, we're going back to 1945 to learn about health for the Americas. The Unseen Enemy. That's who we're being attacked by. The Unseen Enemy. August 13th, 1945, to be precise. That's an awesome band name, by the way. The Unseen Enemy. I'd listen to them. Probably a hardcore band. Now, this is going to be a picture of you. Okay. So, who will volunteer to help us? Me. Won't someone stand up? I, whoa, there's a lot of people here. Suppose we choose this man here. Sure. And the rest of you may sit down. That guy looks like he's got a sweet mustache or cool sideburns. Just stand still a minute, friend. What do you think? Then or long hair? You can sit down too. What's and going on here? Is he wearing a hat as story. well? A story about you. That doesn't look like a person at all. Now you have already learned to protect that, yourself that from many. Looks like a own. who. For instance, oh he does have a mustache. Oh he's a good looking yeah, I like his style. Learn to grow fine crops. He's a farmer. And you raise pigs and chickens. <laughs> These things all protect you from the enemy hunger. Interesting that they showed the chickens when they said pigs, and then the pigs when they said chickens. That straw roof is not going to do a whole lot. Just, you know, saying. But even your house won't protect you from your worst enemy. Who's that? Enemy who may be here in this room right now. Where? Hiding in the dark corner. Ghost! Lurking in the most unexpected places. No. A great unseen enemy. Yeah, a ghost. Demons? Ready to strike in an instant. Sounds Ready like poltergeist. Without warning. Yes, hauntings. No Spooks. No use running away. Haints. No one can run away from disease. Oh. Yes, that's right. So, it's not disease ghosts? That is your worst enemy. Disease uh, okay. Wow. You ah, that's terrifying. The ground you walk Not the ground. Or oh no. Don't drink that water. <laughs> Look how confused he looked. He's like, I've been drinking this water for years. But you see, disease is caused by tiny living creatures. What? Creatures so small you couldn't possibly see them. This water. So how do we know they're there? Let's call on a man who knows all about these little creatures. This guy. The doctor. The doctor. He studies disease every He's got no eyeballs. By using Can't see anything. Wonderful instrument, the microscope. <laughs> We're trusting the guy with no eyes? Of course he can't see it. There's nothing mysterious about a microscope. No. It's just an instrument to make things sure. look bigger than they Talking about, there's a lot of mysteries Let's about a microscope. You how it if you don't oh, there. There are his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have eyes, we're going to take your glasses. Minute, Mr. Fly. We're going to look at you through the doctor's glasses. Okay. See? These glasses will magnify. The, that means the microscope that does that too. Bigger than he really is. But let's try a stronger magnifying glass. Oh. You see? And even stronger. Fly looks even bigger. Yeah, we got it. If we use two strong glasses, okay. Fly grows larger again. And if we use three, <laughs> Or even ah! glasses, the fly begins to look like a monster. Yeah. I love Let's that movie, by the way, The Fly. Why, his leg is covered with hair. Terrifying. And so, through our magnifying glasses, we're seeing something we've never seen before. Okay. I kind of feel like you now, can see a hair on a fly's leg. So. Put a tube around them. Tube. A microscope. Okay. Enough. Yep. And yet... All the mysteries are gone. <laughs> we can actually see the tiny creatures that cause disease. Oh, All right? spooky. Let's try our microscope on some of that water you were going to drink. Okay. This little piece of glass has a drop of that water on it. And we're going to look at Remember, it. he's been drinking that for a long time. Now, Remember how constantly, like, just dumbfounded he looked? When they, with the narrator said, don't drink that water. Well, those there. little guys look cute. They're the harmless. Full of tiny living creatures called little, little egg. The deadly little enemies eggs. That you know, when you crack open an egg, they got the yolk, the whites, flopping around. I'm a big, strong, 
person like you. Well, just look at this giant tree. Tall okay. and sturdy and strong. Yes. You'd think it would take something mighty big and powerful to hurt this great tree, wouldn't you? Yeah. But let's get real close. Oh, no. Do you see this little beetle on the trunk? Just watch it. I thought he was going to go termites. See? He's boring a hole in the bark. Did not well, see a beetle coming. One tiny beetle certainly can't hurt a big tree like this. Nah, not even but a little bit. we go inside and see what it's doing. Look at that. <laughs> it's planting a bomb. <laughs> and laid its eggs. And now look. Oh, no. And the young beetles are boring more holes and laying more eggs. Then there are more beetles. You're trying to tell us how a uh, finally, disease works. No! Oh. The life of the great tree. Poor tree. Now the tree becomes sick. And before long, it falls on that house. Killed by tiny enemies much smaller than itself. Yeah. Now, I get let's it. Suppose you drank some of this bad water. Like you have been for a long time. We'd see that the microbes are carried down into your intestine. Oh, like here we go. And okay. now we can I, watch I don't see them. Oh, unseen enemy. Oh, those are the little work. enemies. Okay. First, there may only be a few of them. Uh -huh. But see what is happening. The microbes They're are growing multiplying. Fast your body. And as each microbe grows larger, it splits and becomes two. And these grow and eats your body from the inside out. Become two more. Now the microbes multiply by the thousands, uh, just like the beetles in the tree. Soon your body would begin to lose its strength, and before long, it's making me queasy. You are a very sick man. Yes. All because of these tiny microbes. All because you drank you water. Drink. Yep. But remember, it isn't only in water that we find these little killers. Where else? With our microscope. We can find microbes almost anywhere. There's nowhere safe. Take a look around your farm. Okay. Are we going to go to the chicken pigs? What's this? You have no latrine? <laughs> you use the cornfield? Yeah. Just go in the bathroom, the corn. Remember we said there were microbes in the soil? Yeah. So if I poop in the corn, you see? I leave I leave microbes. Deadly killers that live in soil yeah. With human waste. Yep. Do not poop in the cornfield. <laughs> That's seriously what that was all about right now. <laughs> no, no pooping in the cornfield. There are some flies on the table. Now you may think that flies are harmless. No. But let's look at the fly's leg through our microscope. Mm -hmm. It's got the poop from the cornfield on it. See? It's covered with filth. <laughs> it's covered with filth. <laughs> that that's the first album from the Unseen Enemy. The Unseen Enemy covered in filth. But microbes can be found in other places too. I don't know where. The children sleep in this room. And one of them is sick. Oh no. Just gassed them. Well, this is where we find microbes in the air. Yeah. Microbes that came from the sick person's lungs. Oh, gross. That was in their lungs. Breathe, they draw into their bodies. No. This is the Anopheles mosquito. The Anopheles mosquito? This Anopheles mosquito. Anopheles. Nah. It will leave many of these microbes in your blood. Oh, I hate mosquitoes. Have the disease, the mosquito Ew. I've always yes. heard that's what it's makes that mosquito bites itchy, is their saliva that gets it. gets in you into you. How? By attacking disease before it attacks you. How? Build yourself a latrine. <laughs> again with the, the the hey again with the straw that's that's not that's not privacy by any means cover your bed at night with what can't reach you who is this for is this for South America this seems very like geared towards South America specifically and not so much North America they are all living creatures therefore the microbes themselves can be killed for instance, the microbes yeah. you saw in the water can be 
be killed by boiling, boiling them alive. The microbes that live in dirt and filth can be filth. killed with soap and water. I so like wash it. yourself regularly. The sun will kill microbes. Fresh air is your friend too. So let's put It's easy as that. Wash your hands and get some sunshine. Sun Isn't that amazing? Fresh air as well. Now that you know what disease is, you must fight it where keep our windows you open here most of the time. Protect yourself against it. Upstairs. You Not ground level. Can't trust the ground level. <laughs> Well, I feel I, I'm taking a lot, you know, taking away a lot here. Um, couldn't tell you what, but I'll think about it and I'll I'll let you know on my podcast, Rad and Rock. Go check that out. And and while you're listening to that, why don't you go shop our store, LeoLegacy.com/shop, and get yourself some cool skeleton crew things. Uh, also. Available across all your favorite social media platforms at Leo Legacy. I lost I lost momentum at the end. Did you hear that? I'm I'm kind of a hypochondriac in a way sometimes. So I'm I'm like I'm just focused on getting sick now. You know everything is gross. Okay, I went too far. All right, bye. <laughs>